Hello, my name is James D. Taylor, Jr. I'm a well-published biographical author and an independent research scholar with a major New York publisher. Henry Gray, Duke of Suffolk, is best known as the father of Lady Jane Gray. Henry was descended from a distinguished and noble heritage back as far as 1100 Common Era that produced two queens. My biography follows Henry Gray, who gave up a comfortable, quiet, and leisurely life to become one of the most powerful and influential figures in Tudor England, though only for nine days. I have encountered a few modern historians who labeled Henry Gray, Duke of Suffolk, as that most stupid of peers, and surely the most empty-headed peer of England. But his information that history has recorded about the man was reviewed and accumulated for this book, a much different image began to emerge. Although in the end he made a couple of bad choices, nevertheless he arrived at his station in Tudor history because he was an intelligent man. Two issues were problematic from the very beginning of the accumulation of research material, the date of his birth and his first marriage. These issues, including several others, are addressed in this publication and corrected. Compounding difficulties was another Henry Gray. Actually, Sir Henry de Jure, Lord Gray of Rutland, 4th Earl of Kent, who lived during the same time as our Henry Gray. Lord Gray of Rutland seems to be a source of confusion in both early and recent accounts of the period that would include mention of Henry Gray or relevant material from the period. This may have misled some researchers to believe they were reviewing the father of Lady Jane. But two very different individuals, and that information could of course mislead some historians. Henry Gray was lured into the desire for more power and joined with the Duke of Northumberland to manipulate the dying King Edward VI to alter the order of succession and place Jane on the throne. That did not work for him, and he was lucky to escape with his life when Mary took the throne from his daughter. But soon after, Henry joined with Thomas Wyatt when Wyatt formed a rebellion to remove Mary from the throne. It was that act that not only cost him his life, but his daughters, and they were executed within a week of each other on Tower Hill. It was not the intent of this book to place Henry Gray in a positive or negative image, but to provide all known historical information regarding the man. Henry Gray is often shadowed by his daughter, Lady Jane Gray, who reigned for only nine days as Queen of England. This book corrects and explains why many errors often printed by recent authors about Henry Gray. I can only hope that researchers at any level will find the material presented here helpful. If, at the very least, to correct the often incorrectly printed material because a researcher would not take the time fully required to research the material available. Thank you. Thank you.